Hello and good morning. Yeah, I know it might not be morning where you are, but I just haven't said that for a while. And hey, it's morning here. I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are entering part three in our four part series on the nominal lens formula or basic lens design. Today, we are gonna talk about where thickness comes from. And I can guarantee that for a few people out there today, you are gonna have a great aha moment. So let's hit the whiteboard and let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can make this a little bit clearer. Nice theory, isn't it? If I need a minus five for total power, I put a plus two on the front, I grind a minus seven on the back and I end up with a minus five. Great. Now here's the thing, and this is the, the aha moment I certainly had as sometime during my time as a student. Hopefully you will see it yourself. Here's my number line, like seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, one, two. If this is my stylus, this is the cutting tool that comes in on the back of the lens blank and is grinding away the material to create my minus five, I can go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, zero. If I took this literally as a lens, I'm gonna grind a hole right through the front of that lens. And trust me, today a generator would just laugh at you and say, no, I'm not gonna do that. But believe me, when we were students, the generators we had in fact could grind right through the front of the lens and create a nice shower of sparks, ruining the lens and often ruining the diamond wheel as well. So how do I prevent that? How do I prevent my stylus going through the front of the lens? I add thickness. My blank has to be an additional thickness to account for this additional two diopters of power that I have to go past my zero. That is why lens blanks appear so incredibly thick. Uh, you're gonna see in a lab video that's coming out next month, uh, they're, they're very large, they're very thick, and that is because we have to have enough material here to grind away the minus seven, reach my two without breaking through the front. That is where that additional edge thickness comes from. That's why a minus lens has not only the thickness of the curve, but the thickness to allow us to grind the material away without breaking through the front. It works in a similar manner with plus lenses. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at how this works with a plus lens. If we have a DL, a total power that we need, a plus five, and we took our beautiful concept drawing, and we said we have a plus eight on the front, we would grind away minus three on the back, and that would take us to a plus five. Hey, easy pleasy, right? Nothing to it. Should work. No problems. No need for anything extra, right? Ah, if only it was so easy. If we took this drawing literally, drew it out like this, because our back curve is far shallower than our front curve, what happens is I come in and I remove that is every pass I lose my edge. Every pass I lose my edge. Every pass my lens gets smaller and smaller and smaller. You'll notice once you start doing this stuff, when you get your stock single vision lenses, your minus blanks, nice and big, you can always get great cutout. Plus blanks, little tiny things, real pain in the butt. My blank size went from 65 to 64 to 63 to 62 to 65. Every pass. How do we overcome that? The same way we do in minus. We add thickness. I can come in with my minus three shallow curve and I can grind away. I can grind, I can grind, I can grind. And I can end up with a lens blank a little bit bigger 
than if I tried to do it this way. So that's where added thickness comes from in plus design. Hopefully you had an aha moment there. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching me on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button down there. If you're watching me on Facebook, please share this with some other folks. Thanks again, and I will see you next week.